welcome back everyone to Joodle 4. Um, going home. That's right, we are going home. Eddie's just got the cultivator set up in the Massey Ferguson. Because um, we've decided... Well, while we are here until June, we're not going to need the cultivator here. Uh, and we've got the other tractors that are come with the farm that we can use, technically. So why not at least get one of these over there. So we've got something over there when we need to use it. We have been busy. Today is the day that we've... You've picked up the keys. So yeah. under the deal we, we managed to get with Frank Higginbottom, um, we paid the million. It was done and dusted. As soon as the paperwork come through, which was just sort of, what, uh, about four or five days after the new year, it's officially as. Yeah. We've got 200 grand to pay on the 1st of June. If we foreclose, we will get a 60% penalty, which means we will only be given 400 grand back and we'll lose the sale. So 200 grand is very important to us. However, we have been spending some money. That we will show you towards the end as well. First, we're going to go to the farm. Uh, anything else we need to keep them up and prized with? Uh, no, that's, that sounds about right at the moment, doesn't it? Right, there's your set of keys to the farm. Thank you very much. Alright, you're gonna you driving that up? Yeah, I'll drive that up. It's up. Right, yeah. Am I am I taking your four wheel drive or the warrior? I forgot. Whatever you want. Four wheel drive's there, the keys are in it. Uh, Depends if you want to be cold on the drive up or not. Yeah, that's a good point. I'd rather have the heating. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Eventually, I do want to take that one up to the new farm, but that can wait till it stops snowing. That was one hell of a tight. I mean, I'm on about eight point turn there to get that out. Yeah. All right. I blocked my side and I pulled straight out in front. What's your speed? I'll try and match her. 32. <coughs> I'm fluctuating well, between... Slow down. Yeah, I'll say I am fluctuating a little bit. Yeah, I'm fluctuating between 32, 33, depending on the hills. That's fine. I'll try and keep a nice distance. Snow is falling. Absolutely uh, cold day today, trust me. About minus two. It feels colder than it sounds, believe you and me. With the wind chill factor. But I, whoa. But I have missed this weather. Yes, I know that sounds daft, but um, France was lovely. Th this is proper. Proper weather. You, you don't it's you Christmas. don't get this you don't get this you don't get this at the seaside. And I just thought I'll mention that? it. Um, I've got heated seats and it is lovely. So have I. My massive. Did you know your massive. No, I did not know it had heated seats. And I bet you haven't got a heated steering wheel in that thing, have you? Nope. No, I definitely don't have a heated steering wheel in this thing. I although, do. <laughs> although it is really toasty in here, I'll admit that. Yeah, it's lovely in this little cab. Here we are, ladies and gents. Home farm. This is our new home. The gate's open. We're back home, so why not? It's home farm. It's a lovely farm. You're going to absolutely love the layout of it. Loads of room for the storage. Alright, I'm just going to back this up to the garage, mate. Yeah, I'm just going to dump this here all 
together in here for now. Just uh I'll leave the gate open for the moment. So, for starters, it is very much compact. When I say compacted gravel, this is basically solid cement ground. It has been so compacted. There's stones, and not there's you. You have to dig the stone out if you want to lose stone. Um, we are thinking about getting a small fuel tanker put in here at some point um, against this sort of wall. However, there is a storage for fuel here. But Eddie seems to think that it's um, it's no good. As you can, out they can see that. I mean, it's it's gone green. The fuel in there has gone green, and it's uh, well, you tested a little bit, didn't you, in that machine? And yeah, yeah. So <coughs> yeah, this tank has had it. So we're not gonna we're not even gonna try and sorting that out. That's gonna just remain there. Um, oh, you got the power on already? Yes. So this is Eddie's little workshop. He's very very happy about this and he's got loads of stuff comes with this place and we no idea what we're going to use half this stuff for but we've got it it's, it's all everything you see comes with the farm apart from obviously the tractor and the, the plow we brought that with us but um yeah he's got nice well, basically your office isn't it <laughs> yeah my little home from home yeah although personally i wouldn't drink out of those cups god knows how long that fluid's been sat in it <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Absolutely lovely this place. Right. I know it's cold, but we've got a brisket. We've got to go outside. So we've got one little storage shed just here. We have no idea what where we're gonna store things. We do have <clears throat> a cow barn with pasture by the way. So um yeah, eventually the idea is we're gonna get some moo moos. Some heifers in here. Uh, so and this here, said... here, here, this is a milk tanker. So uh, we will have to learn how to milk the cows. <laughs> Something we haven't done before. Yeah. You get the old uh, yeah. squidgy squidgy's doing. The old Ben Stiller, milk the cats. And if the uh, you guys remember when we were moving from France, I said it's moving day. Yeah. Yeah. Cows. And I love the walls. This is one of the things we yeah. loved about this farm. Proper British built rock walls. Lovely. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, that's the slurridge that pit. I mean, it's empty, but it stinks. Toxic gas. Manure yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, a little manure pit. So we're just going to have to scrape it off once <laughs> every few Ooh. weeks. We're going to scrape all the manure out. Bring it. We'll have to get a little skid steer or a, a telehandler or something or even a bucket on yep. the tractor and dump it in the manure pit until we need ready to use it uh oh, run, run, run. yeah i'm oh. just trying to make sure we're not missing anything around here not this side uh second shed there's more storage but actually if, oh, you walk, if we walk down the back here there is a shed that we have desperately tried to get into um I think the lintel's broken down or collapsed yeah. onto the door, so we can't get into it. But um, there could be nah, nah, could be anything nah, in there. Nah, yes. Nah. Windmill. The windmill, yes. We do have the windmill in sight just at the back of here. Absolutely stunning. Right. Anyway, we digress. More, more storage. More storage. On the left-hand side. And some random pieces of some bobs Silent. that have been left here. That could come in handy, maybe. Um, that's the silo. We're not sure. Big silo. I mean, we're not sure how much it holds as of yet. And um, but it's it's definitely going to hold more than the what we were able to hold in the oh, in the previous it. one. Uh, and the best part about it is it's actually a tipping. So if we can get the pump working, we haven't tested it. Just tip into the grating, it'll put it into the silo, and when we want it, we'll tip it out the top. Beautiful. Ugh. More storage, more storage. I oh, know it is cold, isn't it? Uh, we're not sure. We'll, again, we're not sure the layout of where we're going to keep things, but this could be, could be a hay barn or something. Yeah. Just or just some silo sort of storage. Bunker over, the, over the road there. Big old bunker, yeah. 
whether or not we'll do loose silage. Bearing in mind we have a bale wrapper, and mm, not too sure. Uh, then we've got this big hay barn here as well. Keep yep. a lot of straw barn, shall I say, really. You get a lot of straw in there. I think that's what you kept way, in there. There's loose straw down here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you've got a loop, loop round. Again, nice brick walls. Stone walls. Uh, and then oh, we've got a big field at the top here. This one... Well, it, do you want to tell everybody what your, what the plan is to use this one for? My favourite animal in the world. Shoebies. Um... Sheepies. Now, obviously, we, wouldn't go, we wouldn't go for a massive pasture normally for sheep because <clears> we don't keep massive flocks, or we never have done. However, if you look through over the gate rather than going in, uh, they've already got troughs in there. So, I mean, we could potentially move the troughs, but it seems like a lot of work. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep them where they are. And we are lazy. And Eddie's already legging it to the next stop. Are you trying to see the small field? Yeah, can't see it. Oh, yeah, no, you're not going to be able to see it. So, uh, do oh, do we? You might do be we... Able to see it a little bit through the bush, through the yeah. bush, a little, little gap in the bush. Oh, yeah. See there, just up the top there, there is a small break. There is a little, little field up there. We have no idea what we're going to use that one for, to be honest, yet. But it's ours. We own it. <laughs> it's no problem. Uh, we own two more fields. Think it? Three more fields. We have to check the map to be certain. But. Yeah, we only feel it on my phone right this second. Um, there's some junk here, but um, yeah, probably never going to shift that, to be honest. Big old ties. We can make plant pots. Now, do you know what? I'm going to leave it. It's not It's not going to cause ourselves more work than we need to. So this field is this... a rather large field, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. And sadly, they're withered. Yeah. They're, I mean, crops are... So they're gone. They're gone. No, you can do about that. They're gone. Um, but I mean, yeah, it is what it is. This one sort of goes all the way down towards the bottom there and loops round to the side of. Um, yep. I forget the neighbour's name now. I know we got introduced to him, but there's a we've got a neighbour down the back there. Nice little house down there. So that, that goes onto the back of theirs. We've got another set of got storage. A here. Is there a generator? Nice here? It's an old trailer. It's an old trailer. Old Sorry. Oh, I was looking around the back. I thought you spotted a generator. Oh, there's an old sofa. Um, yeah, just some rubble and junk. This is an old muck spreader that, um, yeah, I don't think this works anymore. But there I is that. Uh, some more storage areas around here. Nice tucked out of the way. Uh, this is all the electrics for the farm. So um, <clears throat> you won't see us touching that anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, more troughs there for the uh, moo-moos, the old heifers when they're in here. I think that's just and, um, outside water trough. Big, there. big grass field. And a, a very big grass field. And I believe we own one more. Uh, do, did you see it on the email? I'm guessing no. you checked your phone, no? Yeah, we don't We don't own this, this the early farms, the fields, 108. This one. The sheep field. That's that little it. mini field. Little mini field, yeah. And yeah. this one. It's the mini field. I keep so thinking that's one field with the sheep is. But um that, no, if we one that we're in now. if we can make enough money, well, the plan is to own down to the creek. So um you can see the little gap just on the horizon. That's there's another field beyond this. And if we uh should we just run down there? Just leg yeah. it. So, yeah, if you can see, all the way across this field is the one, as long as no one's looking at us, we're just hikers. I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> Let's get to the edge, actually. All right, so, yeah, this field is one that we would like to purchase down the line if we can find uh, an agreement with the owner. Here. And... That one. And here, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. I've, and then From so what I can see. Down the bottom, I believe it's down this one here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, all the way down here, there is a little overflow of water. Runs all the way down. 
nice little bridges, etc., etc. We want to own down to this boundary. That's where we want to own. That way we've got a natural boundary for the farm. They can just make out the farm from here. And the windmill, you can see also the windmill. And and he's disappeared. Disappeared on me. Actually, I think that's I'm up at the farm still. I, I was going to say, I think I can see someone running up the top there. Is that you? Yellow jacket, yeah. I'm not running, I'm just standing here. I'll be up there in a minute. Whew. He's jogging off. I've done a workout and off there, <laughs> mate. I don't know where he's hiding now. Saw him a minute ago. I'm still in that grass field where we're at. Are you back? I, I've already, I've, I'm literally in the farm farm. Right, so yeah, anyway, yeah. that's 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 the farm. Uh, and we also it also comes with a house, uh, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and that's this little one here. Garage. It's a wood stove, so we do have to chop the wood for it. Three bed, which is, is more than we've ever had. Plus, it's got outhouse and a coal bunker. Not that we're ever going to use it. Nice little garden area and a little garden shed. So, yeah, I think there's a bird. Yeah, there is. There's a bird bath in here. Um, and believe it or not, we're going to be really lazy and we're going to hire a gardener to look after it. Why not? Why not? So that's home farm. Right. Uh, now we're just going to pop up to a new field. We've still got to give out a... F I'm going to call it Green Fingers. Can you shut the gates? Yep. Lock them. Thank you. Do do. Uh, yeah, so our new, our new, we keep calling it Newfield, but we are going to call it Green Fingers from now on. Um, we've been busy up there. We spent a couple of thousand, well, I say a couple of thousand, what, 20, 20 25,000, something like that. Um, we've yes, spent, I think so, yeah, we've moved, like we've moved our greenhouse over there. Um, we've added some stuff. You'll see. Um, so we've got nothing growing yet. We've still got to do some tweaks with water systems everything's going to be naturally fed we've got a um, natural water source nearby we're going to take water from that store it in the tanker and then have that tanker distribute with pipe work that we're going to put in uh, to all the greenhouses so it's not going to be ready for a little while yet but you'll see when we get up there we have done a lot of work um, Eddie went, ev went to even the trouble of finding some turf to uh, lay down so it's uh, very lush at the moment considering the time of year as well but uh, yeah. we like it the husky, the husky, the husky yeah and he's got, he's got some work yeah yeah it's got some work to keep up right let me do the gate oi, 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 oi. there we go Oh, he's going to wait for me. I normally he drives off. I thought I'd be nice in this winter. Yeah, well, it's not so bad now. I've got used to the cold out, you know. So, yeah, it's um, very much turning out to be a very nice little area to work in. Those weeds have come back through. Yeah. All right. So, ladies and gents, when you lay anything down, a, a pathway, a roadway, um, wood chip flooring, anything you want to lay down... Uh, use lining because we didn't and weeds keep coming up through the uh, roadway we've got a little loop round and then uh, yeah, it's not designed for this pickup truck it's designed for a little tractor a bit like that one you wanted to get with a little trailer yeah we are, we are keeping our eyes open for cheapy bits now so yeah we've got uh, that's our original one isn't it the third one in yes so that's the original one, just to the left of Eddie there. And then these are two new ones that we were able to pick up. But they're not brand new, they are second hand. The ones at the far back that we just drove past with the polyth polythane tent over the top at the moment, they are open air gardens. So the polythane tent, uh, they cost us about two grand um, a piece. So there's four grand's worth of tent in there. And then the fencing, I think we only spent about 400, 500 on the fence in itself yeah everything else is pretty much reused from parts that we're able to manage and get hold of bits of old timber etc 
So we are able to keep the cost down a little bit lower, but they are a lot bigger uh, than the smaller greenhouses. But they produce. We can do outside vegetables in them, etc. Uh, one of the one, one of the which is potatoes. Uh, and the plan is, if we can get permission, we want to put a little um, a little hut outside on the road roadside there, so that we can sell fruit and veg. Whether or not we're going to be able to, a whole different ball game. If not, then you know maybe we'll bring it inside and and hopefully people will spread with word of mouth. But yeah, it is what it is. Happy days. Happy days. Very happy with this a new little area. Yep. Obviously, it's a bit of a drive at the minute for us to get up here, but. Once we move over to home farm, it's um, well, it's just down the road, isn't it? Oh, yes. Completely forgot about the gate. Sorry, you got it or? Yeah, I've got it. So yeah, just down. I mean, you can't really see from. And let me get out quickly while he's doing the gate. So yeah, just down here is the water source I was speaking about. It runs all the way up along our field, and um, because it's natural, we've literally just dropped. We can drop a hose pipe. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, it's gone. We can literally drop a hose pipe in it and suck water up into a tower. Um, we'll do it over time, so till the tower fills. That way, we're not draining all the water. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, yeah, you're funny. It's cold out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very funny. Uh, and then we could pop up here and see how much they. Uh, what they buy wheat and stuff for. Try and work out what the best stuff. And there's also a BGA up here, which is always nice. And there's the dealership. You see, we're close to everything up this way. Oh, keeping that place nice clear. We've got, some new, we've got some new things over, the, over in there. We'll have to go have a look another day. See? Honestly, you didn't see. I saw all I saw was a flash of red as I drove past. We like red. We do like red very much. So I'm an extreme. I think everybody's got that by now. I'm an extreme Massey Ferguson fan. There's a John Deere dealership, and they never seem to have any second-hand John Deere stuff in. Well, they've had the occasional tractor. Definitely too big for the farm we've been on. But no, you never know what we can get hold of in the next next uh, month or two. We're in February, we've got till June until we've officially finished our lease and we can use those fields now. So as soon as the weather permits it, we can go cut that grass and make a few pennies out of that one. Yeah, and we need to obviously plough up Yeah. that other field, cultivate up that other field because that's all withered now. Yes, indeed. We've got to plough that up and try to work out how to buy our own cedar. That's, that's going to be an expense. But, I reckon we could do it. Of course. Worst case scenario, we speak to the bank. There we go. Home sweet home for the moment. Uh, I just realised something. It's not the machinery we've got to worry about moving. That's not really that bad. It's all your smelly socks. They buy smelly socks out of it. Look, they're really smelly. <laughs> and you're not. You're going to have to carry them in the back of a trailer. <laughs> oh, yes. Good point. We've got to move all this and all. Yes. Um, do you reckon we'll get all four on the back of the pickup? Yeah. <laughs> we'll run them up. Uh, we can, well, we're not doing much. We can run them up later on. So after some grub. Yeah, either later on or tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Uh, stick them on there now. We can get these out of the shed. Because we're not going to need them here. We are going to need them at the new farm in the spring. The idea the is we need to get take a crop up in early. The fertilizer spreader. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... 
do you reckon we'll get one more cut off our fields here, won't we, before June? Yes. So it might yes. be it might be worth just keeping hold of the spreader here until we spread them. As soon as the weather yeah. improves, obviously. All right, I'll pull the truck over. Right, let me guess, you're gonna, you're gonna get about two on here. Yeah. Okay. Just chuck some straps over it. That's fine. We'll do a couple of trips. If we have to. Alright, let's just, yeah, slide Hold them you. back in. Good idea. Keep them out of the weather. Alright, we'll uh, go grab a cup of tea, a bit, bit of cake, and uh, we'll take these up there. Yep. Yeah. Alright, and uh, we'll see you lot closer to the spring. It's a bit colder than a minute. So, nice quick one today. So until next time, this has been Matty G and Eddie. Peace out. Peace. Yeah.